Here we go again. So just done a 12 hour day at work. It's gonna be one sexy looking filter house when I'm finished with it. Here we go again. Here we go again. Five more to go. Just brought in all the timber. So all the timbers on the fence as well. Was gonna put another one up there, but just not going to plan. So I decided to put this one down here. Still got a load of new bits to show you. Got another delivery. I also got another delivery. We got a bit of a problem. Get on, sweetheart. Get on the end of e-girl. Get on the end of e-girl. Keep driving on. I'm gonna show you a way how you can get, especially in the UK, how you can get free koi pond water. There's laws and regulations and what they can charge you for and what they can. Sediment chamber. So any of the dirty, basically the way that these work, drainage system. I've also got another sump from Coastal Koi LTD. That's right up my street. Thank your mother for the rabbits. That is a real good quality. I've got some two inch pipe brackets, pea gravel for my soak away. So I've got another delivery. You can get free. Whoa, nearly went into the pond then. <laughs> Love. Love. Right then, so we're on the last package. This is what I've been waiting for the most. And in our race tonight, it's steak night. Wrap your eyes around that. I've got a load of bits to tidy up. Look at it, it's carnage here. Here we go again, so just done a 12 hour day at work. I get home and when the weather's like this, you gotta crack on. You gotta make A when the sun shines. Got a load more sand and aggregate to bring in, load more cement to bring in, load of pea gravel to bring in. So let's just bring it in, get it piled up. To be honest with you, I didn't expect it to turn up. I should have had the first lot done, cement already in, and this next lot would be for my base for my filter house. I've come across a problem. I've got to sort out a problem. Need to get this in the garden at the same time. So let's just crack on. Gotta move that. Another 20 bags. I've got to move that. I've got to move that. I've got to move all of that, which is pea gravel for my soak away. So I've got loads to do. And I've also got that wood to move. Three days. Let's crack on and get it done. Here we go again. I'm gonna clear all of this tonight. I'm gonna smash it out. Five more to go. Right then. So I've got all the cement in. I've also got a dumpy bag up there. I was gonna put another one up there, but just not going to plan. So I decided to put this one down here and then I'll put my pea gravel right here because that's the first thing that I'll be using to refill over there. My problem with the soak away. I've also got a load of new bits to show you. I'll run you through a load of bits that I've got, what I'm gonna do, what my plans are, and then obviously continue with the project. But hell of a job down there. Obviously my plan was to have all of this set in place all of that first lot of concrete should have been in. This this lot of what's turning up now should have been for this. Make do when the uh, the sun's out and just keep cracking on. I just brought in all the timber, so all the timber's on the fence as well. Happy days, another job done. Certainly on a mission tonight. Still the sun's shining. I've got to crack on, on the last bag. Let's, let's smash it out. Just got home from work. Got another delivery. I wonder what this is. I'll take it out the back and show you what it is and where I got it from. I also got another delivery. I got loads of stuff to show you. We got a bit of a problem because I'm struggling to get it out. So I'm gonna have to take it apart unless the wife's gonna help. The wife is gonna help because that is really heavy. Come on, sweetheart. Get on the end of e-girl. Get on the end of e-girl. Get on then, we got a full look. I got one hand here, look. Keep driving on. Driving on. I think we're gonna manage it just. What a tight squeeze that was. It's certainly busy times in the Koi house. I've got loads of stuff to show you. Loads of bits and pieces that I've bought. And I'm just gonna run through all of the bits and then uh, show you where I got them from, what I've got, and we'll go from there. You can see after last night's work, I've managed to get all of my materials into the back garden now. Hell of a job. I was out here till the pitch black finishing it off, but I got it done. To start with, I might open this, or I might open the other boxes. What do you reckon, Case? Case, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? So right, we're in the conservatory. I'm gonna start off by showing you what I've got. So right, a lot of you are probably thinking to yourself from the last video that I put out, how am I gonna fix this next problem that I've come across? So I've been doing a little bit of research. I got an idea, I got a plan. I'm gonna show you what that plan is. I'm gonna show you what I've got to conquer that plan. There's one advantage of me doing what I'm doing with all of this stuff is that I'm gonna show you a way how you can get, especially in the UK, how you can get free koi pond water for your pond. Well, at least get your sewage charge knocked off. 
So you get a discount at the end of the year how each place does it. But in Southwest Water, in the UK, I'm going to show you a way to get a bit of discount off your water bill as well. So, you know, I'll come across a problem, but we're going to sort the problem. So before I tell you how you get discount off your water bill, that's if you live in the UK. I'm not sure about other places in the world, but in the UK, laws and regulations and what they can charge you for and what they can't. With your normal standard water bill, I'll explain some of the stuff you need. Main reason by me doing what I'm doing is not just to save water, it's to get my water from my koi pond and my drain off of my house and my conservatory, I need to put that water somewhere as far away as I possibly can. So I've got, got all of this from a company called Drainage Sales. I purchased it all online and it did cost me just over 500 pound. Over the long term of me getting me water for free for the pond is at the same time, that 500 pound in a couple of years will come back with just water bills. What I've got, I've got soak away crates. I've also got sediment chamber and you could make one yourself. But the way this one works is that it's got three inlets to it. So imagine all of your dirty water from your drain, your gutter in, your fish poo, your um, your koi blanket weed and, and stuff you don't want going straight down the drain because it might clog up your drain pipes and stuff. What they sell is things like this, a sediment chamber. So all of your muck and moss, what comes off the roof, goes into a system like this before it goes down to the drain. Then what happens, you've got three inlets, so then obviously you've got one outlet. The thing is, I'm going to best to show you how it all fits together when I get to that stage, but it will eventually fit up here in the garden, and the soak away that I've got here, with another three stacks like that to make, which are in those boxes, I'll show you how they're made, because they come flat packed, they work an absolute treat. There's so many, so many more things I've got to unopen here and show you, but I've also got garage pack drainage system, so I've got another sump as well. This was all designed to go into my filter house, all in my plans. What I've got to do, which my filter house, for the people that don't know, will be living over there. The idea about everything is that I wanted to make sure that any of the water, which will be in my filter house, anytime you do any koi pond work, if you've got filters in a, in a room, wherever you've got filters, you sometimes get a leak. You sometimes get problems. So I want to make it, if I do get problems, that water's got somewhere to go. Where that water wants to go, I need to make sure that I can, you know, with something like this, you don't want a load of weed and moss clogging against it when this gets buried in the ground two metres over there. More earth I've got to get rid of. But that being said, I'm going to move you on now because this video and everything I've got, I'll take out the pack and show you how I fit it, what I'm going to do, and how I'm going to get to it. But... As you can keep seeing me pointing out here, I've also got this package to open and show you what it is. And it's the only place in the UK I know of what does real cheap post and packaging, six meter lengths. I'll get to that when I get to it. To start with, I've also got another package from Coastal Koi LTD, which I purchased. Believe it or not, in these boxes right here, I'm hoping no one can see my address, but in these boxes right here, I actually spent... 422.49 it was the cheapest place that i could possibly find for all of my ball valves and oh it was the cheapest place let's unbox it and see what we got so yeah just before i open up all of this if anyone's interested i'll leave a link in the description of the video just so you can see where to get the same as what i've just bought i'll leave the link down for you guys as well happy days so box number one, we're going to open it up. We've got loads of unboxing to do tonight. You have to excuse me, I ain't got my koi merchandise on because I'm still, well, look at it. I haven't even got out of shower yet. What's going on? Well, let's have a look because I've been waiting for this to come. And anyone else like me, when you order something, you get an email and then it says when it's turning up and then you're waiting for stuff to turn up and then everything turns up at the same day and no one's home. Nightmare, isn't it? One pipe bracket, six pipe brackets. As I'm going through the video, I'm just going to show you what I got. Decent quality stuff, and I'm more than happy with this quality of this. So we have one ball valve, two inch. I don't know what's in each box. Anyone else get annoyed with packaging materials? Something that needs to happen to make sure that you get everything you need, but yeah, it can be annoying, can it? But the company's annoying doing it, what I'm getting at. Just, you've got loads of cardboard to get rid of. Looks like I've got a load of, that's all my inch fittings. 
ordered up loads of stuff. Absolute oh, look at the size of this beast. That's what you call a big old ball valve. Well, this company that I've got from, that's the first box. I'm going to open up the other boxes now. But this company, the reason why I went with this company to buy all of my bits and pieces, it was the cheapest place I could find. It was the best quality stuff that I could find, that I wanted. And uh, to be completely honest with you, I set up on their webpage, they got a member's discount, so you automatically receive 5% off anything you order. So I was like, that's right up my street. Thank you, mother for the rabbits. So that's the first box we got. I'm gonna open up the other boxes, lay it out on the table, and then you can see everything that I got, because it's taking it all out one at a time. It's a nightmare, man. What we're gonna do, we're gonna roll the time lapse. Right then, so what I got here, I got a load of ball valves, I got a load of pipe fittings, and this is only the start. This was an expensive start, but I know it's some of the equipment that I need to get me started. I got the big four inch ball valves. As you can see, I've got to have everything matching. Everything's got to be color coded. This is going to be one sexy looking filter house when I'm finished with it. Just check the delivery note, and I have got a few items missing. Decent quality. Don't know if anyone's used this make before. That is a real good quality. I'm more than happy with everything. Happy, happy days. And like I said, it was the cheapest place that I could find to get what I needed. And it's going to look really, really wicked with all of the matching ball valves in the filter house. It's just going to be the part. I've got some 2-inch pipe brackets. I've got some 2-inch 45s, 2-inch 90s. I've got some inch 90s, 45s, straights. I've also got some inch ball valves these are going to go onto my airlines for me i'm going to fit it now and get it done properly even if i don't really need to shut it off at ever time but if i do if i ever get water backtracking up but i've got a real good idea with me airlines a lot of people say they worry about sediment or stale water being sat in an airline well i'm going to show you a little idea achieve that when i get to it to make it better load of two inch ball valves happy days i'm more than happy with the quality of this stuff these things are absolutely huge, but we've got to move on. I've got to show you the next thing. It looks like it's getting dark, so I'm going to go have me tea, and I might get round to that tomorrow. That's what you call eating like a king, man. I love being a butcher, and in our house tonight, it's steak night. Wrap your eyes round that. Proper nice, thick ribeye steak. Thank you, mother for the rabbits. So yeah, just got home from work. I've got another delivery. But I still got to show you what's in that long package. So we're going to have a look at that first. And then we'll have a look at this. I've got a load of bits to tidy up. Look at it. It's carnage here. I told the wife I'll have to sort all this out. To start with, we're going to have a look in here and just hopefully make sure that I've got exactly what I ordered. And then I'll tell you where I got it from and where you can get it from. Because a lot of people struggle to get lengths of pipe. Ah, just told you what it is. Getting through it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run you through what I got, where I got it from. Obviously, I said a minute ago that it's pipe work. People, when they build a koi pond, they struggle to get pipe work, especially in long lengths. I managed to get hold of a company that's got six metre lengths that can deliver direct to your house within 24 hours. Different classes of pipe, different grade, different quality. So there's class E, class D, and class C. I've gone for the absolute very best, class E. Wait until you see the thickness and the quality of this pipe. There's absolutely loads here, because there's pipe in pipe in pipe. So I've got from four inch right down to the inch, and I've got a load of different bits that I need. But I managed to get it from a company called pipestock.com. I'll leave all the links in the description. Anyone building a koi pond. I went for class E, Imperial. They do metric, they do ball valves, they do pipe fittings but I was well happy with the next day delivery service. Uh, there's a lot of koi companies out there at the moment that struggle to send a parcel any more than two meters. So for me to manage to get six meter lengths is absolutely outstanding. So totally made up by that. Let's open it up and see how many bits of pipe that I've got. And I will show you the quality. Pipe work inside a pipe work. So that was my three meter length of one inch and a half. You can get three, whoa, nearly went into the pond then. 
So you can get three meter lengths from the same company. You can also get six meter lengths. A lot of the stuff I went for was six meters for the pure fact I got a saw and I can cut it. Right, if you zoom in on this, you can really see the difference in quality that I've got here. This, this here now, the new stuff is actually class E. That is the actual best, it's the strongest. It's down to the fact of how much pressure that pipe can take before it blows. I used to use, which I bought from my Koi dealer. I always paid a premium price for my Koi dealer for this pipe and I always thought it was the best because I was told that it was the best. But doing your own research really does help sometimes. So for people that don't know, you can get different grades of pipe work, anything from grade E to grade C. So I always used to use grade C. Grade C is still, still very good. It is still good enough for a koi pond. But if you ever put in any pipe work underground and if you're ever putting it anywhere where you're not gonna be able to access it. And a lot of people that build a pond, once you put your pipe work in place, that pipe work stays there. I went for the best. I thought, right, the, what I'm doing, I'm just gonna go for the best. The money difference is very minimal. For how much money difference there is, I'm, obviously it mounts up over a, a job lot like I've bought here. I just opted for the best quality stuff, to be fair with you. I'm more than happy with this. There's three different grades that pipe stock sell. They sell grade E, grade D, and grade C. Grade C is the cheapest, grade E is the best. I'm not sure on their whole website because I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in the things that we need to know about koi ponds. Most koi retailers, wasp, get out of the way. Most koi retailers will sell you the cheapest grade possible for the most expensive money. You know, everyone's in for a penny, in for a pound, didn't they, at the end of the day. But if you go direct to the source of a company, then you'll get a cheaper deal. I'll leave the link down in the description of the video and then you guys can check it out. But I'm gonna get all this pinned up on my fence, up out the way, and I'll, I'll run you through what I've got. So, I mean, look at the thickness of that. I'll just show you as well for the demo purpose of the video. Pipe work that goes under the ground and you're never gonna, never gonna go anywhere near. As you can see, the thickness of the pipe in four inch, this is from JBR Plastics. And this is very good quality. I was very impressed with that, but I believe myself that that's a grade D. I cannot fault that. But I went for grade, grade E. I keep getting my grades wrong, but look at the thickness of that compared to that. So we go side by side, you can see the thickness is even thicker again. So if you're putting something underground and I cover it in cement and you're never ever gonna be able to access that pipe, you want that pipe as strong as possible. And I'll be using this pipe down there. I'm stuck. Love. Love. Five lengths of two inch up there. I've got my inch down there behind the back of the fence. I've got my inch and a half there. And I've got my four inch over there. This stuff's so heavy, it can't take the weight on me brackets. So I've got it where I need it to be. This will be getting recut to go into here. Because like, I don't know if you remember, I said I needed a longer length of pipe to go in here. So I'll be able to take that out, replace that. That can go above ground in my filter house and I'll be able to put rubber boots on that. So if anything goes wrong with it, not that it will, but if anything does, that will be, I'm better to put the, the thicker stuff underground there and just switch it over. Check out D. I'm trying to film and he's making a hell of a racket. Don't know what he's up to, but he's flying all over the place here. I think he's checking out me koi pond. Get down here, boy. Right, so we got one more package to open. Let's open it up. I bet none of you can guess what's in here. None of you will be able to guess. On the last package, and to be honest with you, this is what I've been waiting for the most. I've been waiting a long time for this to turn up. I ordered it from eBay. I ordered it, and then after I paid for it, I didn't realize that it was coming from China. Oh yes. Oh yes. So what I've got, do you want, anyone want to have a guess? I bet no one can have a guess. I've got some buckets! Joking aside, is that I ordered them from China. I didn't realise it was coming from China, but they're here now, so I'm happy. A lot of you know I'm doing my own base, my own foundations, a lot of building work that I'll be doing all myself, and I like doing things the old-fashioned way. And I like mixing up my cement. When I chuck in it in the old cement mixer, I like making sure that I've got it exactly, I've got the mix bang on. The mix has got to be bang on, and then you know for a fact that you haven't gone wrong. 
part of the reason why I got buckets. But I got 10 buckets for 10 quid. Can't argue with that. Decent heavy duty ones as well. Thank you, mother for the rabbits. Then, so as you can see, my conservatory is an absolute pigsty. I need to get it all sorted. I need to get rid of all of my recycling, get gone in the recycling bin tomorrow. So I'm just going to strip down everything out of the cardboard boxes, get rid of it all because it's all extra packaging stuff that I don't need to keep, make a bit of room, tidy up the conservatory, get things packed away that I don't need at the moment. Part of the reason why I got it all out was to show you guys what I got where I got it from. None of the items that I've showed you, I got for free. I've had to pay for out of my own hard earned money. And to be honest with you, I wanted to share with you guys where I got things from. And I wanted to share the cheapest deals that I could get, what I could find at the time. There might be other companies out there. There might be other places out there that you can get a, a cheaper deal. But if you find them, just let me know. And I'll, I like to share with other people. I like to share with other people if, if we can, you know, find somewhere that makes things work good for everybody, then happy, happy days in my book. Tidy up everything in my conservatory. I've got the recycling bins coming tomorrow, so I need to get rid of all of my cardboard. I need to get rid of all of my rubbish that I don't need. Sort all that out. Put my trainers away. And then, well, it's coming to the weekend, so I've got a load of work to do. Well then, so I'm going to end the video here because I've got loads of stuff to do. I need to get on with it, tidy everything up. It's coming to the weekend, and uh, well, as you can see, I've got a load of work on my hands. That being said, happy bonding everyone. Hope you like the video. Hope you like where I got everything from. Hope you like what I got, and I'll see you on the next one.